Hey, welcome back. This is Gerbil, and this time I'm showing Ewoks achieving 12.6 million damage in the Heroic Sith Triumvirate Raid. I am premiering Logre, who I am sad to say I've been ignoring for a long time. Just got him relic up to level 2. I took out Pablo. So here we go. I've upped the game speed to four times because otherwise this is just too long. Uh, as I've said in my previous videos, the strategy in phase one is to try to use Logre to give foresight to your squad and just keep that on there as long as possible so that they avoid being hit by Darth, by Darth Nihilus because he'll uh, remove all of your, your buffs and you, you see Ewoks accumulate a lot of buffs. So just keep the foresight on there. Keep calling C-3PO to reduce uh, the cooldowns, give those stacks of translations, drop the cooldowns, and repeat. This one's almost over. Uh, Nihilus only had about 6 million life, so or sorry, 6% life on this, so that's not too bad. I can These Ewoks can usually do 10 to 15%, maybe more. Uh, I don't know now that my relic levels are a bit higher. If you want to see some videos without relics, look back in my history. I've done a lot of other previous videos. All right, so phase two, we're up against Darth Sion, and um, this one is pretty straightforward. Just use every special you can, pretty much no matter what. Just special, special, special. Get the stacks of translation. You see 3PO, drop those stacks. But watch this, here comes Wicket, and boom! One hit, 210,000 damage. And that's not really an anomaly. Um, Wicked is an extremely heavy hitter. He was very underrated. Look at that, 214,000 damage in another single hit, right? So just get all those, those buffs that you can on there, keep applying them, use all the specials, use C-3PO to uh, drop those cooldowns, try to stack Confusion on, on Scion as much as possible, and that's it. I mean, that's the strategy. Uh, it definitely helps. Again, I think having Logre in here, the Foresight seems to be a lot more beneficial than Poplo. Poplo is a virtually indestructible wall in this phase uh, until Scion's epic there cools down long enough to just wipe out your whole team in one hit. So um, this is my one and only run with Logre, and I really, really like him as an addition to the team. I look forward to using him in other places. I just did my second attempt at the Geonosian light side battles and was able to clear two phases of the battles out of four, which was pretty solid. I probably could have got to uh, cleared phase three, but, um, well, watch the video. You'll see I did a boneheaded misplay at the end, which cost me that, that round. Otherwise, this squad, as you see it, probably can beat the first three, and who knows if it can clear the fourth phase of the battles in Geo Light Side round one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and game on.